Google just turned the infrastructure race cosmic. Google just turned the infrastructure race cosmic. The company has announced a plan to launch solar-powered satellite data centers equipped with its own tensor processing units, TPUs, into orbit. And yes, you heard that right, compute are officially leaving Earth. According to Google CEO Sundar Pichai, this is what he said, when you consider how much energy the sun emits, more than 100 trillion times humanity's total electricity production, space may be the best place to scale AI compute. Wonderful. The sun is definitely shining. Leading this project is Travis Beals, Google's Senior Director of Paradigms of Intelligence. He's the guy pushing the idea that orbit might just be the next data center frontier. Up there, the sun never sets, at least not for satellites in sun-synchronous orbit. A solar panel in space can generate up to eight times more power than on Earth, with no cooling problems and almost constant supply energy. That means, in theory, Google could actually run massive AI workloads 24-7 without the heat and energy bottlenecks that ground-based data centers face. The plan is to launch modular satellite constellations, each acting like a mini compute pod, which means solar powered connected through optical laser links pushing up to 10 terabytes per second. Wow! In lab tests, Google's already hit 1.6 terabytes per second on a single optical pair. Now, here's the very interesting part if you're already not intrigued, which is strange. Google's paper towards a future space-based, highly scalable AI infrastructure system design, end quote, shares some very real data. Radiation-tolerant trillion, trillium, sorry, V6E TPUs survive triple the radiation exposure expected in orbit. The system becomes economically viable once launch costs drop below, well, $200 per kilo, something SpaceX is closing in on. So basically, by early 2027, Google plans to partner with Planet Labs to launch two prototype satellites that will test TPU resilience and AI learning in space. Travis Beals puts it very bluntly. Thermal management bandwidth and on-orbit reliability remain big challenges, but physics doesn't rule this out. Economics and engineering will decide, end quote. This story isn't just about satellites, it's about the hardware that makes the orbit move logical. TPU V7, codenamed Iron Wood, is designed specifically for large-scale inference and AI workloads. Each chip supports 192 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory, HBM, about six times the previous generation. Memory bandwidth reaches around 7.3 terabyte per second. A TPU V7 pod with up to 9216, that's 9216 chips, delivers up to 42.5 exaflops in FP8 precision. Google claims roughly double the performance per watt compared to the prior generation. Why does this matter? Well, I'll tell you why. With hardware, this powerful and efficient, the barrier to deploying compute in new environments, even space, starts to drop. Amazon's project, Cuper, is actually already building a network of 3,000 plus satellites for connectivity. And insiders say AWS is quietly studying edge AI compute in orbit for real-time data analysis. Microsoft's Azure space program is experimenting with space-based AI inference systems, especially for military and geospatial analytics. And SpaceX Starlink has begun integrating edge compute nodes into its newer satellites. A hint that cloud services might soon beam directly from orbit. But you know what? Here's the twist because there always is. Google's play isn't about connectivity. It actually wants to move the brains of AI, not just the wires, into space. Also, infrastructure isn't happening in isolation. The AI hardware stack is already being deployed in major model builders' workflows. And we have, of course, covered this extensively on front page. Anthropic will deploy up to 1 million TPUs from Google and ramp up to cover 1 gigawatt of compute capacity by 2026 under the newly expanded partnership. The deal 
is valued in the tens of billions of dollars and underscores that Google's hardware is competing directly with Nvidia and AMD for large scale AI compute. Anthropic already uses Google's, uh, Google Cloud's managed LLM services and TPUs in production. And the New Deal scales them into hyperscale levels. So while TPUs are available on Google Cloud for developers and vendors, they have time and again proved their mettle in handling AI workloads. And if they are available as sole hardware systems, NVIDIA could have a real challenger. So basically, this isn't about incremental upgrades, as you've understood. With TPU v7 and the Anthropic Google deal, we're looking at compute as a strategic asset. Location, scale, and hardware all matter. And now, with the idea of orbiting satellite data centers, Google is asking, where is compute going next? The message is clear, and here it is. The frontier of AI isn't just what we build, but where we build it.